Have you ever wondered what would happen if you traveled in a straight line forever? The universe is a vast, wondrous, and strange place. From our perspective within it, we can see out for some 46 billion light years in all directions. Everywhere we look, we see a universe filled with stars and galaxies. But are they all unique? Is it possible, perhaps, that if you look far enough in one direction and see a galaxy, that you'd also see that same galaxy from a different perspective in the opposite direction? Could the universe actually loop back on itself? And if you traveled far enough in a straight line, would you eventually return to your starting point just as if you traveled in any one direction for long enough on the surface of the Earth? Or would something stop you? Although it sounds nonsensical, the answer is both. You could travel forever, and also, something would stop you. When we look out into the cosmos, we're not seeing objects as they exist right now. From our perspective, it's been 13.8 billion years since the Big Bang occurred, but literally everything else that we see is younger than that. Why is that the case? The Big Bang occurred everywhere at once, and if we were located anywhere else in the universe, that same 13.8 billion years would have elapsed. But if we looked at planet Earth from that location, we'd have to take into account that we aren't seeing Earth as it is today. Instead, we would see Earth as it was when the light that's arriving at this moment was emitted from it. We would see Earth's past. If we were on the moon, that light would be minus 1.3 seconds old. If we were on a planet orbiting Alpha Centauri, that light would be 4.3 years old. And if we were in the Andromeda galaxy, that light would be 2.5 million years old. The same principle is at play whenever we look at a distant object from our own perspective. We're seeing those objects as they were when the light that's arriving now was emitted. Only, if we look farther away than moons, planets, stars, and galaxies within our local group, there's an additional factor at play. The space that the light is traveling through is expanding. This expansion stretches the light waves, making them longer and shifting them to the red end of the spectrum a phenomenon known as redshift. This cosmic time machine effect means that the farther we look, the further back in time we see. We can observe the early universe, witness the formation of the first stars and galaxies, and even catch glimpses of the cosmic microwave background radiation, the afterglow of the Big Bang itself. We're almost ready to get there, but first, I want you to consider what your options would be if you traveled in a straight line forever through a universe that wasn't expanding but rather through one that was static and unchanging. In the case of a static, unchanging universe, everything would depend on what we know, mathematically, as the topology of the universe. One of the great revolutions brought about by Einstein's general relativity was the realization that space itself isn't simply describable by a rigid, absolute, three-dimensional grid made out of straight lines. Instead, space itself is necessarily curved by the presence, or absence, of matter and energy. Where you have a large, overdense collection of matter and or energy, you have a greater amount of positive spatial curvature, and wherever there's either a below-average amount or even a negative amount, you get negative curvature. Well, in general relativity, there can also be a global structure to the space-time you inhabit. Your space-time can be positively curved, like a higher-dimensional sphere. It can be negatively curved, like a higher-dimensional saddle, or it can be flat, where there's neither positive nor negative curvature on the largest overall scales. If the universe weren't expanding, you could imagine only two possibilities. The universe could be finite and closed, regardless of its curvature. If you traveled far enough in one direction, which only means traveling in one direction for long enough, you'll eventually return to your starting point. Even if space itself is topologically weird, like a Mobius strip or a Klein bottle, you can simply keep on going, and eventually, you'll return to where your journey began. Or, the universe could be infinite and open, again, irrespective of its curvature. No matter how far you traveled in any direction, or how long you spent on that journey, you'd always find that you were encountering new space that you had never encountered before. There would be nothing to stop you, and yet, nothing to enable you to return to where you started, other than turning around and reversing your journey. These two scenarios present a fascinating duality. In a finite universe, your journey is a loop, a never-ending cycle that always brings you back home. In an infinite universe, your journey is an endless quest, forever venturing into the unknown. 
When we've looked at the universe in every way we know how, at the galaxies within it, at the gas and plasma we can map at the radiation emitted by stars, molecules, and even the Big Bang itself, we've searched for repeating patterns, hoping to find evidence that the universe might be finite on scales that we can observe. But there's no such luck. In fact, all across the entire universe, we've been able to confidently state that there are no repeating structures, no locations where we see objects in one direction that match objects in another direction, and no patterns in even the earliest light that can be identified as being identical across two different regions. The only time we've ever seen multiple images of the same astronomical source has been when there's a large gravitational mass located somewhere in space, and the light from a background source gets bent and distorted into multiple different paths that can all successfully arrive at our eyes. Despite all the possibilities that account for the shape, curvature, and topology of the universe, traveling in a straight line, even forever, can never return you to your starting point. The combined facts that the universe is expanding, dark energy is causing the expansion to accelerate, it's already 13.8 billion years after the Big Bang, and the universe does not repeat and is not finite on scales smaller than 46 billion light years, ensure that we'll never be able to circumnavigate the universe the way we can circumnavigate the Earth. The universe may, on some very grand cosmic scale, truly be finite in nature. But even if it is, we'll never be able to know. While we can travel through space as far as we like, as fast as we can, for as long as we can imagine without end, most of what's in the universe is already forever beyond our reach. There is a cosmic horizon that limits how far we can travel through the expanding universe, and for objects more than 18 billion light years away at present, they're already effectively gone. This cosmic horizon is a boundary not just of space, but of time and understanding. Beyond it lies a realm we can never explore, a vast expanse of the universe that remains forever hidden from our view. Scientists estimate that the observable universe is about 93 billion light years in diameter. This means that light, which travels at a speed of about 186,282 miles per second, would take 93 billion years to travel from one end of the observable universe to the other. However, the universe is constantly expanding, and there may be regions beyond the observable universe that we cannot see. The true size of the entire universe, including these unseen regions, is unknown and may be infinite. The concept of the universe's size also brings into question the nature of space and time. Could there be multiple universes or dimensions beyond our own? Theories of the multiverse suggest that our universe might be just one of many, each with its own laws of physics, its own beginning, and perhaps its own end. In some models, these universes coexist like bubbles in a vast cosmic foam, occasionally colliding or drifting apart. In others, they are layered dimensions existing side by side, separated by imperceptible barriers.